Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video, I'm Get Good Guy, and recently I've been using a weapon that isn't seen all that often on the battlefield. That weapon is the Selbstladder 1906 Factory, not the M1916, which is far more popular of course. And I've been using it to crack through the 300 kills required to unlock the Sniper variant, which I've never bothered to do before. So hopefully I end up enjoying that weapon, or this is one big waste of time in some ways. And I figured if I'm using this weapon this much at the minute, I may as well put a video together sharing my opinion of it. So today I'm going to give you a rundown of the Selbstladder 1906 factory, mainly by comparing it with two other similar weapons, those being the autoloading factory and the general loo factory, and I'll share my personal thoughts on it afterwards. So I've chosen to compare it with the two weapons mentioned because they're all factory variants, they all have a very low ammo capacity, and they can all dump their ammo reasonably quickly. The Selb 1906 utilises 5 rounds per reload, which is the same as the autoloading and one less than the general Lou. It then has a rate of fire of 299 rounds per minute, which is the same as the general Lou, and a little slower than the autoloading, which can fire at 359 rounds per minute. It then hits for the same maximum and minimum damage as the general Lou, with stats of 40 and 35, and the autoloading differs a little with a slightly higher max damage of 42, and a lower minimum damage of 30. This means that the Selb 1906 and the general Lou always require 3 bullets to kill, whereas the autoloading requires 4 from 71 meters out. And so so those are the main stats for the three weapons. Beyond that, there's the muzzle velocity, where the Selb 1906 ties with the General Lou with a stat of 800 meters per second, whereas the autoloading only has 660. It has the same time to live as the General Lou, which makes both of them a little less snappy than the autoloading. The Selb's recoil overall is very good. It sits in between the other two for vertical, but has very superior horizontal recoil. Although its recoil decrease isn't great, but I generally find this to be a minor point. That solid recoil is then paired with the best ADS spread stats, and the same hip fire spread stats as the General Lou, with them both being beaten by the autoloading as you'd likely expect. And then finally, the Selb 1906's reload times are reasonably quick, especially when compared with the autoloading, but it still feels like a drag to me when playing for some reason, possibly due to less frequently finishing the target than with the autoloading, and I'll get to the reasons for saying that soon. But essentially, this all means that the three weapons kind of all have differing strengths and weaknesses, whilst providing a somewhat similar playstyle. It'll be down to the individual as to which one best fits for them. I feel that the Selb 1906 kind of falls in between the autoloading and the general Lou, and this has resulted in it being my personal least favourite on this occasion. Stats wise, this is likely due to the general Lou having an extra bullet available, and the autoloading firing at a faster fire rate. But beyond that, there are other factors. I'm not saying that the Selb 1906 factory is bad as such, I don't think it is, not at all. It can be very effective. I know some people love it, and pretty much any medic rifle is a solid option these days if we're honest. But for me, compared to what you could be using as a medic, I just don't think it's all that strong. You can of course disagree, as not everyone can like the same things. And obviously I'm showing you kills I've picked up with this weapon, and I did manage to do alright with it, picking up a 3 or 4 point whatever KD for my time spent with it so far. So I'm not saying it's not possible to do serious work with it, it's just that it felt like so much more effort than it needed to be for me. Not in a skill cannon sort of way, like I felt with the RSC SMG, the autoloading marksman, etc etc. Instead I just felt like I had to work hard to have the gun do an average job. Like I often felt like I was hitting shots but the damage just wouldn't land, or if it turns out I'm just missing then apparently I find it way harder to stay on target with this weapon than I do with similar options. Either way it's more of a struggle for me. It has me doubting my shot like only the Enfield Infantry has previously, a weapon with which I can't see down the sights. Pretty much with every other weapon in the game I feel pretty confident in my shot, but with the Selb 1906 Factory I I've tried pacing my shots more to try to ensure I hit the target, but then I can't land the damage fast enough a lot of the time, or the shots still just don't seem to hit the target, and suddenly I'm out of bullets and need to reload. And then, I've also tried shooting more quickly to try to drop the enemy faster, but then I'll sometimes seem to miss a load of shots again. So I'm kinda just beyond understanding what it's supposed to be good at now. Like I get it in terms of theory, as I explained from the stats, but in practice, it just doesn't seem to work out for me personally in the way I would expect. I did though manage to improve things when I put the magnification up to the maximum possible. This is the opposite of what I generally do, but I was able to more consistently hit the target with this specific weapon once I upped it. And it could be that hit detection issues are exacerbated by less people playing the game these days, and thus connections tend to be pretty bad in lobbies now, so this makes this unforgiving weapon even more unforgiving possibly. But what isn't affected by lag is the thing that flips up every time you take a shot. I just can't get on with that. That flippy thing, which someone will likely be able to tell me in the comments 
researching what it's called, it gets in the way on a weapon that's supposed to be about precision. Plus, hitting the target consistently is so important due to the low magazine count. And also, if you don't then get the kill having used all of your bullets, it stays flipped up in your face after that last bullet, completely obstructing your view of the enemy now trying to gun you down. Oh, and obviously, this is one of those weapons where you can almost never take on more than one enemy at a time due to the low ammo capacity. This generally doesn't bother me, but added into the mix here, it's just another negative factor. So overall, for me, the Selvsladder 1906 factory feels limiting. I can't comfortably rush with it in a way I can with almost anything else, and picking people off at range is more of a struggle than I would like. So it just really isn't my style, and I assume it won't be for lots of you guys for similar reasons, but some of you will like it, I'm sure. So please feel free to share your side of the story, as this is just my opinion. Dive into the comment section and get involved. Now we'll shoot over to the Board of Awesome for the fantastic people who allow you to get content from me full time by supporting the channel on Patreon. It's the absolute lifeblood of this channel currently and without decent support it honestly wouldn't and or won't be possible to maintain. So thanks to everyone on here. If you want to join them on the Board of Awesome to keep this thing going, the link to the Patreon page is in the description and in my pinned comment. Support can start from $1 a month. I hope you enjoyed the video, remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos and feel free to like, share and subscribe. I'm Git Good Guy and I'll see you next time, latest.